What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, got another cool one for you. This is the second part to the last video I just did. And the title was, Did We Find Proof of War on Mars? And I believe that we have. Now, there's a couple lines in the last photo I don't know if you guys have seen. So we're going to go back to it. However, look at this time, we're going to look at 3347. And this photo was taken two days after the one we just looked at. So let's just jump right into it. I want you to see this. This is cool. And it's going to leave you scratching your head a little bit more going, okay, so seriously, what is going on here? But pretty cool nonetheless. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here's the photo, Sol 3347, and it is the left navigation camera or the left nav cam. And you can see below in the description, it says this image was taken by left navigation camera on board NASA's Mars rover Curiosity on Sol 3347, and of course it says January 5th of this year, right? So it's two days after the photo we just analyzed, right? And you can see the difference. One, well, it's darker, surprise, surprise, but it seemed to have a wider area. So was the photo we just examined, was that zoomed in? Because we didn't see the rover in that particular photo, and yet we see it in this one, okay? So there's a question for you right off the bat. So let's just go right into Photoshop and analyze this. All right, now here's the one we did prior, and here's the one we're gonna examine. Of course, it's a whole lot darker, and like I said, you can see the rover in this, so it gives you kind of somewhat of a scale, if you will. Um, I wouldn't call it an actual scale, but um, you can see the actual uh, power plant right here um, in the lower right, and of course, we have this can-looking object, which is basically the uh, uh, transceiver antenna on it, so um, pretty, pretty cool. Now, when we go back to the original one, do you guys see anything weird when I talked about this particular object here? You know, I'm saying it's, is it possible that it come off the front of this, right? Did you notice any extra lines in this? How about right here? Let's zoom in just a little bit further. Notice how this is going off like this, but wait a minute, it doesn't stop. There's a faint line right here. Okay, it kind of stops right there. Then you've got another very faint line right here. And of course, we had this right here. We saw this. And you can see another faint line going like this. Okay, and then right here, look at this corner, another faint line doing this. And then, of course, it seems to stop right there. I'm going, okay, what gives? Is this something totally separate? from this object here, or did it come off the face of it, perhaps? Okay, and had this weird uh, thing going on like this. Is it possible that's where that was at? Pure speculation here, folks, but it's, it is pretty wild. Now, I did say I believe a lot of this is basically fill. They just put in whatever they want, and this thing is much larger than it really appears, right? So, I'm trying to figure out if that thing did in fact come from the face of this. Now, let's enhance this and see if there's anything else in this photo. Check this out, folks. Look at this. It literally comes down. You can still see the line. Okay. You've got this right here going up like this, going across, seems to come down and do this. Now, are we not seeing the other side to this? Maybe it's a little wider. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way the angle is on this. Now, when you zoom into this, you can see what looks like weird parts in here. Now, is it possible that this here is nothing more than some kind of artifacts and it's kind of looking like some kind of weird object? I don't know. To me, it looks like an object or parts laying on the ground in front of this blown apart structure. Now, if we go back to the fully enhanced like I did prior in the last video, this is what we've got. And folks, you can still see this line right here. You can still see that. Very faintly, but it's there. Now, have a look again. We have something going like this, going across, coming down. Looks like it's doing this, and it comes back around. Okay? 
We have something that looks like it's doing this, like I said earlier, and you can just see that little line again right there. And this is in the fully enhanced, folks. So what is this thing? Is it possible that's what this thing is right here? Is an archway? And again, the question is, did it go to this? Now, let's go to the latest photo and have a better look. Now, folks, I've always said this in the past. Anytime I see a darker photo, I go after it like a pit bull, right? The object we're going to look at is hidden right here. What looks like that weird archway thing. Okay, and you can still see this without doing anything to this photo. We can see it right here. I can still see that piece coming up like this. Now, there is something white right behind it, and it looks like it's coming through the side of this. So I don't know if this thing just stops here and goes like that. I'm not sure, but it appears to do that, right? All right, so let's do this. Let's just make it brighter, nothing more. So we just went from darker photo. You don't see anything changed other than this photo being lighter. Now, let me also show you something here on the left. I've noticed this right off the bat, which I thought was pretty interesting, right here. And if you look at it, there's a couple lines in there, right here. There's a couple more things in there, folks, you guys are going to like. So again, let's make it brighter and have a better look. Now, that object is, in fact, there. You can still see it, as I said earlier. Okay. Now, is this thing in the background, or is it still right in front of this other object. And of course, we don't see the lines this time. Now, you're going to see many things that changed. And you're going to say, well, why doesn't it look like it did in the last one? Well, we got different angles. And if they got different angles, you can bet they manipulated and covered these things over differently. So you're going to see a little bit of difference there. Also, take note of this right here. When you look at the opening to this, notice how we can see what looks like a square opening now. See that? Kind of like doing this. Or it looks like it's kind of like almost curved like that doing that. Folks, see that? Is that weird or what? So it almost makes you think that this could have literally went like this, come down, went like this. And of course, I had all the other pots, and it could have been the face of this. Again, pure speculation. Now, let's just go ahead and do a full enhancement. And folks, check this stuff out. Stuff that's laying on the ground. Again, depending on how they manipulate this stuff, you'll see different things. Maybe they didn't take out some of the things like they should have, right? We've got this line here that we seen last time in the other one. We can see what looks like this opening. Of course, we didn't go really crazy with that. We just wanted to bring out this right here and get a better view of it, or at least try to, and see what the difference was in this two-day later photo than the prior two days, right? And this thing is still there. However, we don't see the lines. They covered this up pretty darn well this time, right? Now, if you drop down a little bit, this little piece here, we talked about this yesterday, right here, okay? This is what I mean. Notice how we can still see the curvature here? Going like that, we can see this thing kind of doing this, coming down. That was that weird thing on the ground right here in this photo, right here. See that? See the difference in the way they actually manipulate. Although we can see that, look at it. It's changed a little bit depending on how they want to manipulate. Notice how this whole area has changed. Hmm, imagine that. Again, different angles, or they just decided, oh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, block some of this out, and they just do it differently. This is the reason why sometimes you can see some objects in one photo, like a day or two earlier, a week later, somehow different things come out. Why is that? The only thing I can think of is that they're just manipulating in different ways, or the AI is, the AI software is, and it's not taking out these objects like it should on some photos. Like some of them, you would never see these parts. The next photo, you will. Why is that? Yet this thing here stayed pretty consistent, and so didn't this here, right? This object here is still here. This is the one we looked at, although it's not as clear. But you can see it. It's still there. This is the one we did in the prior one. Have a good look at that. It's still right there. You still got these pieces coming off of it. This piece going like this. You can still see that. Right there. Pieces coming off. 
weird pieces, but it's changed. It's slightly changed and altered. Why? It's the way they're manipulating these things. Bounce over here. We've got these things on the top left here. It looks like some kind of weird stretched out triangular piece. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me zoom into it. And I find it really interesting the way this thing looks, but check that out. Well, look like other pieces down here. I'm not sure what to make of that. That could be nothing more than some kind of odd rock type thing. Again, did they build into these buttes? So this is going like this. You can see something like a double piece here. Sometimes all it takes is just simple outlines, right? And that's all it takes. You should not see intelligently made objects on Mars anywhere other than Earth. How much did this mound change? Now you'll see some subtle differences, but did it change a whole lot? Not really, other than it being darker. Let's go back and forth. It really hasn't changed a whole lot. Little differences here and there, but some of the main 90 degree corners and stuff like that is still there, right? But again, it depends on how they manipulate these photos. But you can see that. This middle section is still there. You can still see that. Right here. See, it's coming down like this. See that? Still there. But it depends on how they manipulate. But like I said, those two main features that we analyzed in the last photo, it's still there. What do you make of it? I still believe that these are structures of some sort been blown to pieces. We have other objects laying around on the ground. And even if they were like these here, and even if they were kind of bogus, I wouldn't care. The main features here are right there. I can almost see like almost a square kind of thing going on like this here. So I don't know if this object here went over the face of that. Or is it possible it's just two separate items and it just happens to be leaning or in a pile? Because I believe this, if it's here, it still goes down. I actually believe that. Because again, you notice how this has looked totally different texture compared to the rest of the ground here. And by the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but if you go to this photo here, let me just back out a little bit. Actually, I don't even have to back out that much. Check this out. I don't know if you guys have studied this, but look at this carefully. All on the floor on the Martian soil. Look at the little pieces. Get out your magnifiers, folks. You've got things like this at a square and have some little detail on the side of it. You've got another something right here. I'm not even sure what that is, but it has 90 degree corners. It has this object right here. Other stuff. I talked about these yesterday. Right there. And all these other little pieces in here. This is a mess over here. I believe this thing's much taller too. I don't think that's just a little mound. I think these things are much taller. I think this, like this whole side of this thing goes down. And if we were to say the same thing about this and it's leaning like this, then clearly this thing must go down further. It's just they're putting a bunch of noise there. But there are some things piled up here. You can see that. By the way, see, the, see how that's uh, pretty much almost identical on each corner? Didn't know if you guys noticed that. But yeah, but either way, it looks more squarish inside here than it does look the shape of an arch inside. That's why I did this here, okay? Folks, give me your take on it. I think it's pretty cool. There's some other weird shapes in here. I'm not sure what they are. There's no way to vet any of this. So we can only speculate on these, but there you go. More weird stuff in a photo two days later. And there you go. Folks, like I said, in that last video we did, you know, is this proof of war on Mars? I believe it is. I think we're seeing something destroyed, or many things destroyed, in a pile right there in this whole photo. And of course, we don't get to see all that. All we get to see is either outlines of things or things that are inside texture, like that line to that, which looks like some kind of weird arch piece. What could it be? We can only speculate as to what it is, right? So I figured I'd do the second part because I don't know if you guys have seen that extra line or lines coming off that straight piece, which now to me looks like some kind of weird archway. As always, folks, drop your comments below. 
I want to hear what you got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more crazy ones coming up, so stay tuned for that. And be sure to join us tomorrow, Friday, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Love to have you there in the live hangout. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.